Hello students, welcome to lecture of kinematics and theory of machine. Myself, Professor Silas Patel and we are going to continue chapter Chem. In this lecture, we will continue our examples of Chem profile. But in last example, we have completed simple uh, means without offset. Now we are going to uh, we take one numerical with offset, which is more complex than our last. Okay, so uh, as you can see the given data here, so cam is given to the a cam is to give the following motion knife is follower is there in last example we have completed cam profile with knife is follower but there is a no offset is there but in this example there is a offset okay out stroke means lift or stroke or rise is 60 degree after that dwell for 30 degree after that return 60 degree and do remaining dwell for 210 degree so this total will be always 360 because all data is given for that one revolution one complete revolution of chem okay the stroke of the follower is a 40 mm okay rise is a 40 mm is given minimum radius of cam is a 50 mm means uh, base radius or minimum radius is a 50 mm the follower moves with a uniform velocity during both outstroke and return. So the type of motion for displacement diagram we have to consider as a uniform velocity. Okay. And the draw the profile of cam when axis of follower is offset by 20 degree. Remember that this example is totally different because the offset is a 20 degrees given from the axis of the cam shaft from the axis of the cam shaft in this example the direction of cam clockwise or anti clockwise is not given so we are assuming that cam is rotating in a clockwise direction so profile we will making in this example will be in anti clockwise because always make profile in opposite direction in of rotation of cam in, in this example this is direction is not given so we have taken that as a clockwise and profile will be anti-clockwise okay let's start so first of all write down the given data okay so you can check here the given data already given uh, lift is a 40 uh, here stroke is a 40 uh, minimum radius is a 50 so minimum radius base radius is a 50 and all angles 60 30 60 and 210 all will be considered as a angle theta 1 2 3 and 4 okay and other points we have to always find in a given data which are the knife phase follower uniform velocity is a types of displacement diagram offset is given and we assume the direction of cam in a clockwise direction okay so these four data also very useful during the drawing the profile of cam okay let's start so these are the data we already know now first of all we have to make displacement diagram as for uniform velocity and you already know that how we can draw the uni uh, velocity di uh, displacement diagram there will be rectangle whose length will be 18 and height will be depend on the rise or lift lift is a 40 so 4 centimeter because we have taken the scale 20 degrees equal to 1 centimeter in all example we repeat this procedure scale 20 degrees equal to 1 centimeter and uh, partition of this rectangle in a four parts and uh, like 60 uh, 60 degrees equal to 3 centimeter 30 uh, degrees equal to 1.5 60 is equal to 3 and 210 is equal to 10.5 so this is are the distance we divide this uh, rectangle here so check this first of all 3 centimeter 1.5 and 3 centimeter consider remaining as a 10.5 and after that what we are going to do we what we are going to do we are dividing this rise in a, a, another six parts okay six parts of this rise equally six parts of this return and 
in uniform velocity very simple method is there we have to just make the line from from this point this is the dwell this is the return and this is again dwell this this green line indicating the displacement of follower and we are going to uh, all the notation here 0 to 6 0 dash to 6 dash a b c d up to g and then up to p at the end point okay so it is already we have practiced so this is the displacement diagram for this given data you can check here 60 degree is given 60 degree to so 60 degree 30 degree 60 to 1 0 height will be 40 because lift is given 40 here uh, outstroke dwell return dwell and for uniform velocity the line is uh, this displacement diagram is very simple straight line connect corner of this uh, rise and return and you will complete the displacement diagram but now we are going to start the cam profile and there is a very few points are there we have to must consider during the cam profile otherwise there will be mistake can be happen okay let's start so first of all you we have the base circle radius okay so first of all make the circle size of 5 centimeter okay this is the 5 centimeter circle okay and if there is an offset is not given what I am going to do if offset is not given if offset is not given I am start with this center line and partition of the circle but if offset is given we are going to make another circle with the same center which uh, radius will be as same as the offset okay offset is a 20 mm is given so we are going to make uh, another circle at a center okay and radius of this circle will be same as the offset after that I will draw the tangent line or I can say so let's start okay first of all we have to make horizontal line at a center up to offset circle and then vertical line okay draw the vertical line and then we are going to obtain this point here which is very important this point you can see here this point here and connect this point to the center we are going to connect this point to the center and remember that this line okay remember that this is very important line because this is a reference line and re with respect to that this line we are going to divide this circle okay in four parts which four parts already we know that 60 30 60 to 1 0 but with respect to this line if offset is not given I am going to draw this base circle and first line is our reference line and all angle I am making with respect to that but in if the offset is given if offset is given what I am if offset is given first circle will be the ba uh, base circle and uh, inside that there will be offset circle it is known as a offset circle and I am going to make a one horizontal line and then vertical line okay intersecting the base circle and this point is very important for me because I will connect these two points okay and this line will be reference line and all angle I will measure with respect to this line okay so let's start divide this circle in this four angle 60 30 okay so but remember that whenever you dividing this circle in these four parts theta, theta 1 2 3 4 don't extend that line out of circle okay make this line up to the base circle only so this is the 60 30 and then okay I have divided this circle in a these four angles 60 30 60 and 2 1 0 okay and after that you know that we are going to divide this rise and return in six parts so I am going to divide this rise and return in a six parts like I'm going to give you but don't make the lines here because we are going to make tangent only okay first of all I will divide this in a six parts by using protector okay so 
so i have divided this uh, uh rise and return in a six part and now i am going to draw the lines but remember that in offset we are not drawing these lines with respect to center we are um, we are going to draw that tangent because you check this first line is a tangent with this so all lines will be tangent which pass through the point and should be tangent with the offset circle okay so make this types of tangent which are passing through the point and simply tangent at a circle and that's how you will get sub all points okay which points check this here this is the you know that this is a cent starting point of zero here will be your starting point zero after that one two three four five up to six so you can get here you will get here what one two three four five and six is the last point and same as uh, for return your tangent will be same like this which must all pass through these points and should be tangent perfectly okay that's how you will all draw all tangent and you will get the points sir but after that what you are going to do you have this distance you know that this distance one to b so from this one point you will get this point here like a sorry a is here b c d e f and g you will measuring this distance 6 to g distance and you are applying this distance from here okay same start will for that and here and it will decreasing slowly and you will get here so this is your profile now you have to connect all points here like this and you will get the profile and after that you have to make here a uh, knife edge follower also like this so this is your offset profile okay let's check this and that's how you will complete this i am revising it again so first of all make this circle here first circle will be here here offset circle this is the base circle make the horizontal line then vertical line okay and connect this line with center and it is your reference after that you are making the all angle like this 30 60 and again 60 uh this four partition of as per uh, given data and then all should be tangent here okay all should be tangent which are you making with this offset circle and pass through all points you will draw the this cam profile Okay thank you